Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to Springtime Equine, and if you are not new here, you may notice the change in the scenery. So, my family has basically moved to my uncle's barn. He is in need of some help. He had an accident with his horse, so he can't really do as much as he used to be able to do around the barn. As well as that, my mom has moved her coffee and cafe business to a new location which just happens to be in the same town so we've moved all of the horses have settled in really well i think gonzo has probably settled in the best he's really been enjoying the mountain air and having a lot of fun um my sister and i well my older sister and i are planning on starting a lesson program because my uncle is really interested in that and she's getting her degree to be able to teach, which is pretty cool. So anyway, I thought I would take you all along for a typical day in my life because the weekends are not every day for me. Most I'm gonna go because Gonzo's getting impatient and he wants to go outside, so enjoy. Good morning, it is about six o'clock and my sister and I are gonna head to the barn to feed the horses. Do I just follow you? Yes, you do. I can't keep it steady while you're running. having breakfast um, at my mom's cafe. I've got some tea and then a bagel with peanut butter on it. Why are you drinking soda? It's so early. Can I please go get started on making the feeds? Morning, Panda Pony. Oh, flashy. Garbanzo Bean, good morning. So then my little sister goes and makes the grain and I do hay and water. Um, if you would be interested in seeing what the horses eat individually, I could definitely make a video on that in the future, but it's all pretty simple. Flash doesn't even eat that much grain, but he's still really upset until my sister gives the horses their grain. <laughs> Gonzo is normally first to finish, so then he just kind of stands there and waits till we go take him out. Panda is a super slow eater, so it takes him a really long time to finish, so we always just leave some of his hay in the hay net. Hey everyone, so I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about the different paddock locations and things. So Panda was in a really lush green field, but he got very nervous since there were no other horses near him, so we've moved him to a field with more horses. Flash is very, very happy to go outside because he can actually jump out of his field and then he goes and escapes and eat all the, eats all the hay. So we are gonna be moving him. Gonzo goes in a grassless field, well, paddock, because um, he he's prone to laminitis, so poor Gonzo doesn't have much grass. Then I get changed out of my pajama slash barn clothes and get ready for school. Um, my sister normally drives me because we are on the same campus, even though she is older. Um. 
This particular day was a Friday, which meant that I had Pony Club after school, so I just got into my smart Pony Club outfit and started tacking up Panda because the trailer ride is super short, so we can just put his saddle and boots on and then put his bridle on once we get there. Before we leave though, I do have to help muck out some of the stables, so I just quickly do that as fast as I can. So then I just loaded Panda up in the trailer. He is a really, really good boy to travel, and my uncle was going to be driving the two of us because I don't know how to drive the trailer. Friday Pony Club meetings are typically jumping, so we were just starting over the cross rail, just trying to get really straight and centered. Um, I have to work on not fidgeting with Fanda, Panda right in front of the fence because that is something that I tend to do. We were working over some bigger fences, which I was a little bit surprised about since we haven't done that so far this season but it's really good because Panda is an actual jumper. Something that I'm really working on with Panda is getting him straight to the jumps and not dashing out or wiggling in front of it because he just drops his shoulder. This line was horrible. Poor Panda, I accidentally had him chip in the entire run we finally managed to get it and he's recently really started using his whole body to go over the fences. Um, then we did our courses which were a little bit smaller because everyone was doing the course so there were some riders that were jumping at a bit of a smaller height. So I was pretty happy with him. He was a really good boy. I would say this wasn't one of our best pony club around days. He was just kind of distracted and really wiggly, but um, it was a good experience nonetheless. Now I have to rush home, do some homework, and then hop on flash before it gets dark. I'm really lucky that I don't get car sick because I was able to do some homework on the trail trailer ride back before I had a quick little flat work session with flash. He was definitely feeling pretty spunky today, but um, I was really happy and I just worked on getting a contact, which was something that we've been working on. I am so grateful to have a pony who sometimes rears and not a horse. It is really starting to get a little bit chillier now, so I'm all done for today. Actually, while I was just riding Flash now, my oldest sister um, rode Gonzo. She's a Western rider. Um, she's really, really good, so I thought I'd show you some footage of that. This video took me a really long time to make so I hope you enjoy it and I will see you in the next one which may be uploaded tomorrow but we'll see.